Very good. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Okay, great. Well, uh, great to have you all of you on board. I'm glad you're taking the time out to uh, participate in this conversation. So agile uh, is, is a word that's probably well known to many of you. We've, uh, we're, we're going through this uh, sort of fashion statement right now where everyone seems to be wanting to do something to do with agile. Um, and uh, organizations are going through digitization, agile transformation, uh, lean agile uh, movements are taking place. So let's sort of just uh, go through a quick refresher before we actually talk about agile coaching itself and how you can deliver value in a measurable manner. Uh, let's actually just quickly go back to some basics first and remind ourselves of what agile really is so that we're not, so we're, we're all on the same. All right, it looks like I pressed the mute for a second. All right, so the the core principles of the Agile Manifesto, uh, the Agile principles sort of got formalized, again, just taking you back in history, back to 2001, when the Agile Manifesto was uh, put together by 17, uh, you know, uh, leaders in this particular space, self-declared leaders, but nonetheless leaders, uh, because prior to that, there was a little bit of confusion arising in the market as to what does Agile really mean. And so they, they found the lowest common denominator and they created these four paired core values. So the red and the blue here represent those paired core values. And the way this works, and this will continue in our conversation um, as we proceed forward, is that the left side uh, is, is of more value than the right side. So, so, so the right side, processes and tools, for example, in that first statement is valuable, and, and we need processes, we need tools. So tools like JIRA, uh, Azure DevOps, uh, version one, whatever, you know, that are are being used, confluence that are being used right now in the agile space are valuable, but it's the individuals and interactions that really add that phenomenal value. And, and so on and so forth, we've got four paired core values here, working software, so actually working product, working results, as opposed to just a bunch of documentation. We're collaborating with customers, so the customer's part of the team, we and the customer are the same in terms of as far as the, 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 the results delivery, the value delivery goes. We're responsive to change where it makes sense, where again, the value proposition makes sense. Uh, so we're, we're, we're flexible at quote unquote agile in that, as opposed to just stringently following a plan. Now there is a lot of planning going on in agile as well, of course, and part of your coaching journey would be to show the different layers of planning that takes place along the way. So there's there's a certain mindset and role of the agile coach that we need to get into before we even talk about the measurement part. Um, what does it entail to be an agile coach, and what is that role? What's the mindset required uh, with agile coaching? So I'm going to open up the floor here to um, the chat box, if I may, please, and and ask for your participation. Um, when you think of coaching. When you think of agile coaching, either one of those, uh, perhaps you've had a coach or perhaps you've been a coach in some capacity, formally or informally, what words come to mind or what attributes come to mind when you think of agile coaching or even just coaching in general? I'll give, it a, uh, give you a quick minute to type that into the chat box. Okay, I'm seeing some words here. Performance. Okay, very good, Paul. Okay, so I've, I, I'm, I'm seeing uh, some, some folks have, have, have uh, private messaged me some words, mentorship, um, facilitate agile transformation, performance, uh, mentorship has come up a few times, apprenticeship, uh, exhibiting leadership, um, uh, these are all valid terms. Let's, let's go back to the basics and understand really the core of what 
coaching itself is, then we'll talk about agile coaching. So Lisa Atkins has written an excellent book in the space of agile coaching. Uh, and really, she's she's probably um, got the leadership uh, mantle there. And she, in her book, talks about this idea of the arc of coaching. And the 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 arc of coaching is is a phenomenal idea when done well. And I hope I can explain it uh, properly to you. First of all, when we're going to uh, coach anyone or any team or uh, an organization, we have to first create the right environment for it. So the, for me to be able to coach you or you to coach me, there needs to be some element of trust built between the two of us. You need to uh, have sufficient faith to, to know that I'm on your side, I'm here for you, I'm here for your benefit. Um, and it's all about your agenda. So the, those who are we, who we are going to coach, it's about their agenda. I don't have my own agenda. So we as agile coaches don't have our own hidden agenda per se in this equation. Our agenda is your agenda, which is to deliver value, to deliver additional performance, and and to facilitate agile transformation for a purpose. The purpose being to deliver additional value. I mean, we don't just want to, you know, I've worked in a lot of organizations over the last few years where we have sugarcoated and done the agile transformation, but then the question is what value have we gotten, right? So sometimes it's not that valuable. The key thing here is the agenda should be focused on value. Um, then we discuss the topic, explore the issue at hand or the opportunity at hand. And we, the way this should work is that Sort of, if you've ever been to a, uh, you know, someone, a therapist who's who's helping you through the journey in exploring solutions in your personal life, perhaps. Um, what we're doing here in coaching is we're inculcating the capabilities within the individuals themselves to solutionize. So I'm not here to find the solutions for you. I'm here to help you discover the solutions yourself. So. The conversation needs to take the tone of where I'm exploring the topic with the participant or participants, plural, right? And we're thinking of this possible options that are primarily emerging from the participants themselves. So the coach is not embedding his or her biases in the conversation in the larger scheme of things. And then we help narrow down to some specific actions that would be taking place. And then we would commit to a specific set of actions as well. Now, in this entire conversation, in the most ideal utopian romantic landscape, what would happen is that as an agile coach, I would just be facilitating the conversation. I would just be um, in encouraging you to emerge with your thought process and your solutions. And that's a very nice sort of uh, thought process in the real world frankly speaking, we end up needing to do a little bit more than that, especially with teams that are a little bit less mature. They're looking for a little bit more direction. So they're actually looking for us to give us some of the potential actions and steps that need to take place. And that's fine for an immature team. But if you continue doing that for the long run, and then this will again become a very hierarchical, sort of very managerial structure, where which we were trying to get away from because in the agile environment or in agile environments, as you uh, would be aware, we're trying to build teams that are self-directing, self-organizing. So our coaching needs to take the organization and the teams towards that particular direction. So <clears throat> taking that arc of coaching uh, and, and expanding that a little bit further, an, an agile coach is someone who is going to model the agile values and principles, right? is going to obviously support the team in implementing Agile. And of course, what that means will vary from one organization to the other. We, uh, what I like to say is we want to meet the team where they are, right? And then have them evolve from there. So I might go into organization A and they don't even, they, they just need to start with the basics. So what is Agile? What's the Agile mindset? What are the principles of Agile? What are the values of Agile? And so we start from there. We may go to another organization B where uh, they've been struggling with Agile for seven, eight, nine years, perhaps, and, and people are just frustrated with it. And so what we need to do is a little bit more of a cleanup there and then take them to the next level instead of repeating, uh, repeating and repeating. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed that last clip. 
My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.